for Brandon, you know, most of the draft boards have you coming to the Lakers. Was there some extra excitement for you heading into this workout? Um, I think it's extra excitement anywhere. Uh, I'm just happy for this process, and uh, I've been dreading getting to draft night, and uh, I've just been enjoying the process right now, just working out and uh, try to uh, get ready for the summer league. Personal assessment, how did the workout go for you? Oh, it went great. Uh, it's something that I've been working towards and working towards each workout, but it's something I've been working towards uh, for for a long time now. So uh, just working out and uh, try to do the things that I've been doing in my regular workouts here. What are some of the, the, the things that you've been working on that you wanted to show today? Um, just myself being physical, uh, being able to be physical and finish through plays, and of course, uh, show a little of my memory age game of just knowing that uh, in college it's, it's a different world in the NBA and just trying to be physical and mentally tough out here. Even though it was an individual workout, were there some competitive parts to it? Uh, most definitely. Uh, of course, in the one-on-ones and the two-on-twos, there's always some competitive parts. Uh, of course, in the shooting drills, you always want to try to make the best shot possible. And uh, of course, uh, I, I think I got through that. How did dinner go last night? Uh, it went great. Uh, all the coaches made me feel comfortable around there, and uh, we just had a good time watching the game and having dinner. Did you get all the calories in? I know you been- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Most definitely. Uh, it was a good dinner for uh, all of the guys, just uh, enjoying ourselves. What are some of the biggest challenges that, that, that you've faced through this process? Um, the biggest challenge is um, just being being physical, I guess, uh, developing weight and getting stronger uh, with my build right now, just trying to get stronger and knowing that it's coming naturally, but just trying to build everything I can before I get to the next level. We have a ton of tape on you. What do you try to show them, whether it's at dinner or whether it's on the court, that they don't know about you? Uh, by myself mentally, uh, my, about my determination and uh, how I'm self-driven. Uh, just trying to uh, work as hard as possible on this court and uh, just trying to show a little character outside of the court and uh, show exactly who I am and try to get a great feel for them. You've talked about how difficult it was to leave. When you have the opportunity to really play, I know the Lakers have struggled the past couple of years, but this is one of the best franchises in the history of sport. Do you let your mind go there about that potential? Uh, of course, um, Duke University. Uh, it, was, it was very hard to leave, because of course, with the class coming in and the great coaches around me and my great teammates. But uh, of course, like you said, it's a great opportunity for myself and my family. And um, just coming in, I knew I would have another great opportunity to get better and uh, play with uh, these professional guys and uh, try to reach my potential. Hey, what, what's the work that you've done this past year to get bigger and stronger? Um, just eat everything I can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, I think uh, my weight, uh, I think I can eat anything. I don't have a certain diet for myself. Just eat, eat anything I can and stay in the weight room as much as possible. How much do you weigh now versus what you weighed before? Uh, I think I came into Duke about 169, and I left uh, about 195. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How do you see yourself kind of adapting to the physical rigors of the NBA? Uh, no, it's going to be a long process, of course, uh, but at the end of the day, it's basketball. And uh, that's what I've been doing my whole life. Uh, I was trying to score the ball and try to defend. So I know uh, everybody in, this M- in the NBA, they develop their body each summer. So uh, I'll, I'll try to do the same thing. Is You're Coach K giving you any advice to this process? I'm um, just being myself. Coach K has always been, in, uh, been an advisor for me, and uh, he's always there. He's, he's talking to me every week about uh, the things that I'm doing and just telling me to be myself. Be that He always told me to be that hungry, hungry kid from my hometown, and that's what I'm trying to be. A lot of people would love to play under Coach K. What did you learn from him that you're trying to apply in this process? Um, just having accountability, being responsible, and um, just uh, whatever you do, just work hard with whatever you do. Just knowing that someone is always watching and doing the right things. You came into Duke at 160, you're leaving at 195. What do you want to get to? What's your optimum physical size and weight? Um. You know, whatever uh, whatever I can get to. I know my, my body uh, is naturally going to get there, but uh, just uh, setting a goal each summer, about 10 to 15 pounds each summer, and try to work towards their goal. What are the next steps for you before the draft? Um, just working out for another team, uh, working out by myself, and, of course, after this draft process, I'm really working out to uh, do great in the summer league. So um, just uh, get with the next organization that wants me and uh, just try to work towards my goal. Have you been keeping an eye on uh, Luke Walton during the uh, finals? Um, <laughs> um, I've been mean, keeping an eye on everyone. You know, uh, just I'm just excited to be in this process right now, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to live this dream right now. Ben, does it matter to you if you go first or second? Is that something you've thought about? Um, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, of course, I want to go to the organization that wants me, and uh, I want to uh, develop in this league the best way I can. Hey, Brandon, Scott's like the. Do you have any plans to go to Philadelphia and work out for them? 
Uh, I have a plan too soon. Uh, I don't think I have a day, day set in stone or uh, my agent actually has a day, day set in stone, but I'll definitely work out for Philadelphia also. Brent, discuss like the versatility uh, that you have. Do you see yourself in a particular position or do you see how the NBA has gone and being able to play two, three, four? Uh, how do you think your game fits into to those areas? Um, I think with these top organizations, uh, even when I got recruited from Coach K, I would, he, uh, he always told me I was positionless. So uh, just going in, uh, I think uh, with whatever organization I land, uh, I know they have a great coach that'll see wherever I fit in, uh, wherever they fit me in, that's where I'll play. Do you pride yourself though on having that versatility to, to be able to you know, guard a wing, guard a point guard, and maybe bulk up a little bit, play the stretch four? Like, do, do you want yourself to be able to do as many things as you can? Uh, most definitely. I think uh, being versatile uh, is a part of this game now nowadays. And uh, I think uh, with my body type and how tall I am and uh, with the size I'm developing, I think it, it's going to be important for me uh, to play in different positions on the floor. How did you hear people trying to compare you to Kevin Durant because of your build and because of the way you play the game? Uh, uh, of course, I heard a lot. Uh, of course, he's he's way uh, uh, way ahead of me right now. But of course, uh, that's 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 where I, I want to be. Uh, of course, uh, I want to be somewhere where I can make my own name and uh, where, where it is a Kevin Durant. I wanted to be a Brandon Ingram. What other players do you try to take stuff from? Um, even an old player, uh, George Gervin. Uh, I watch him a lot. Uh, I try to develop his finger roll or his hook shots and uh, just take different things from uh, each player and um, try to develop it into my game. How's the adjustment been from the college 3.9 to the NBA? Um, it's very different, but uh, I think uh, just shooting it in college and uh, shooting the three balls has been a quite a good, a good adjustment for me. Coming into this facility in Los Angeles, does it compare at all to when Coach K brought you into Duke and recruited you there? Uh, they're all rich organizations. Uh, you, we're both playing under great coaches, and uh, I think uh, just coming in here, you see a lot of championships, a lot of great players coming through here, and of course, uh, of course, uh, as a kid, you dream of uh, just being in a great organization and making your own brand. So, uh, of course, when coming into Duke, I had a goal to uh, try to be a national championship. That ain't happened, but I wanted to be a great player there. And, of course, uh, whatever organization is my next step, I want to be another great player there. As it relates to L.A., what last thing is, what will you tell people about this trip? What's the one thing that stands out? Um, the comfortability. Um, as uh, everyone around here is great people. Uh, they make you feel comfortable, and uh, I can say it's a family around the Laker organization. How, how, how much does it impact this process for you that you have kind of a basic idea that barring something strange, you know at least you're going to one of two places? How does it impact that this process for you? Um, it's, it's kind of a wait and see. Uh, of course, uh, you you want to see number one, number two, but it even fall to number three. So um, you you never know where you're going to go. You you always keep your eyes open, and whatever organization that I land in, I'll be happy in, and I'll work towards my goals. Hey, Brandon, what kind of a mentorship has Jerry Stackhouse provided for you over the years? A uh, great one. Um, just teaching me some of the things he's learned through his his 18 years of his career, and uh, of course he's he's behind to the Toronto bench right now. So uh, just learning from him each year and. Uh, playing under his team, he's, he's developed a lot of toughness in me and a, a lot of words and wideness around me.